welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison, if you are new here, and today I am teaching y'all how to make my favorite chocolate chip banana muffins. These are my favorite because they're great if you're on a diet or if you're just trying to be healthy. The original recipe said around 135 calories, but I did add a little bit extra, so they're probably a little bit higher. But these are my favorite snacks to bring to work or if I'm like in quarantine right now to eat at home. So I wanted to go ahead and share the recipe with y'all. Um, I got the original recipe off of Pinterest, but I got it off of Pinterest about three years ago and I can't seem to find it now. I would put it the link in the description box, but I just can't find the recipe. If you happen to find the recipe on Pinterest, the original one, you should go ahead and link it in the comments so I can link it in my description. But as of right now, I don't have the original recipe. I wrote it down back in my senior year of high school. So um, I just never was able to keep up with it. I tried to search it so many times, I just can't, so thankfully I did write it down. But anyways, with all of that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 350. First, you're gonna take your whole wheat flour, I got this one from Walmart, and put one and a half cups into a mixing bowl. Then you're gonna take one teaspoon of baking soda and also put that in your bowl. Now go ahead and put a fourth of a teaspoon of salt in. Whisk all of those ingredients together and put the bowl to the side for now. Now take three very ripe bananas, this will make the muffin sweeter, and put it in a blender. Make sure you cut them up so they're easier to blend, but you don't have to come too small because these bananas are very soft. Also you can see that I cut off what kind of looked like the bad parts before I put it in the blender. Now I'll take a fourth of a cup of honey and go ahead and add that in the blender. Put one tablespoon of vanilla in there also. and one tablespoon of olive oil. Now add one egg, add a half a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt to the blender. I got this one from Walmart, it's the Great Value brand. The last ingredient for the blender is one tablespoon of unsweetened almond milk. Now blend on high for one minute. I just press the serve button a couple of times also so it help the ingredients move around quicker. Now go ahead and add your wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and just mix them together. Honestly y'all, this hurt my arm so bad. If you have a wooden spoon, it'd probably be easier than trying to use a plastic spoon like I did. I literally thought my arm was about to fall off. Now you're going to add a half a cup of chocolate chips and then I added a tiny bit more than a half a cup to the mixture. And then just gently fold them in to the mixture. Okay. 
Now I'm just using this extra virgin olive oil to spray the pan to make sure the muffins don't stick. Now go ahead and divide the batter evenly. After I did this, I actually even had a little bit of batter left over, so you might even be able to make more muffins than this if you have another muffin tin. The direction says to bake them for 20 to 25 minutes, but it only took my oven 17 to bake them. And here is the finished product. Now I'm just taking them out and putting them on a rack so they can cool and they don't continue baking in the muffin pan. So that is all. They're super easy to make. Um, if you do end up trying them, make sure you comment down below and let me know how it goes. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.